Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Emily. This has been my week in my planner and I have been absolutely loving it. It turned out so super pretty and springy and I just loved it this entire week. And now for today's plan with me, I started with this Hobby Lobby washi tape that as you can see I cut in half because it is super thick so I decided to use it in half to cover both of the edges of my pages and then I went back with my happy planner hole punch to cut to punch the holes back into my pages and now for the stickers I'll be using this gorgeous sticker book from American Crafts which I got at Hobby Lobby of course with a coupon and it turned out to be a pretty great price for the amount of stickers that it has. It is more like a scrapbook, a sticker book for what I know. So a lot of the stickers are on the bigger side, but still I think like you can totally make it work for your planner. And now I am just showing you my process. Whenever I get a new sticker book, I just pull out the pages and group them by kind of stickers so the script sheets together and then the boxes stickers sheets together and so on and then i just cut in half the cover of the sticker book like you saw and i used a ring binder to put them all together again and keep them together and I keep using the elastic band as well just to keep them together. And then I decided to take a packing paper from a sticker sheet that I had used up all already. And I had done this before, but I just totally kind of forgot about it. And I had not tried it again in a very long time until a couple of plan with me ago when I saw Leslie doing something very similar to this and I have been trying it out again and it really works fine to just trying to save some time whenever you are trying to flip through all those sticker books and all those sticker sheets you can just start with all of the stickers that you want to use in one place instead of having to go through all of those sticker sheets and that way you can save some time and this time around it worked beautifully for me so I will probably keep doing that in my future plan with me. While I keep placing some stickers down I want to just say thank you guys so much because you all were so amazingly supportive in my last week's plan with me in the plan with me from the last week and it really warmed my heart every time i read an amazing and very supportive comment from you guys it really makes me so happy to see how amazing you all are because I don't have the time anymore to respond every single comment but I want you guys to know that I read every single comment I receive and that it really makes me smile like literally it really does and I just want to let you guys know that I really appreciate your comments and your words and your support and everything it makes everything so much worth it and it really helps me out with you know just keep going and maybe trying some different things you guys also share your ideas on how could I optimize my time and everything and everything really helps your words of support help your suggestions help so thank you so much and just thank you I mean I feel I don't even have the words to express how grateful I am for all of you and I really mean it so getting back into the spread I have been using my printable stickers from my printables Etsy shop I also have been using the pumpkin paper co stickers and stick with me shop stickers that have becoming are becoming one of my favorites both of them probably because my collection of those stickers is growing so I have a little more from where to choose 
so I have been really enjoying them like a lot so I tried to use them as much as possible in this spread and I am also using the deco stickers from the sticker book kind of like functional here and there like with the bow to mean washing my hair and in here I also integrated some of that of those Hobby Lobby stickers that I have and now I am just marking down my mom's birthday and I wanted to make it a little more special but also I didn't want it to become kind of overwhelming to decorate just an event in my life so I just went with the bow box or bow half box from my printables Etsy shop because I knew it was going to make it automatically like special without becoming overwhelmingly special or anything like that so I did that and I finished decorating it with some Mambi and Recollection stickers and then to finish decorating that day I used a Nikki Plus 3 washi tower and some of my printable stickers for printing and cutting and now moving on to the next day I continued with the stick with me shop and pumpkin paper co this time around I decided to use them together because I always try to use one or another and these in this particular task that was just working on Saturday I decided to use both together for the same task and I think that went really well and is something that I don't even think about like using both for the same task and I think that maybe sometimes I should do that more often anyway keeping on with the day I used a nail polish from Fox and Pip, a desk from the Coffee Monster Co. And then I also used some script stickers from Paper Kumako. In here, I'm using a flag as well as some of my printables. And I went back to those edit and upload because they were just like not working for me. And I decided to go and do it a little differently so that I could be a little more happy about it and I ended up loving how it turned out I think it is a little more different to what I usually do and I really like how it turned out so now for marking down the plan with me I used two washi tapes stacked on top of each other and those are from recollections from Michaels and then I used a script from my printables shop and a bow paper clip again from Nikki Plus 3 and of course I love this kind of foiling and glitter washi tapes to layer stickers on top since I cannot write on them but with stickers and script stickers and all of that they are just perfect ways of doing some layering and it always turns out really pretty and now I wanted to mark down some slipping in on Sunday and then I went back to my sidebar and I used this white out which is actually from the Dollar Tree I find it probably doesn't have much of an stain power like probably you can rub it off really easily but for underneath a bigger sticker just to cover up something that may be underneath works perfectly well and is very very easy to use so I totally recommend you to give it a try because it is just one dollar from the Dollar Tree so yeah now someone had asked me about the pens I use I don't like my handwriting and I usually use script stickers but whenever I write I use my Pigma Micron my Jelly Roll from Sakura and my Sharpie Ultra Fine Marker um, I use the Sharpie on glossy stickers and the other two on matte stickers or directly into the planner pages and I am pretty happy with them they are all waterproof so if you are like me and you like waterproof pens and you like your writing to be waterproof because you don't want a whole lot of black all smeared all over the pages maybe 
those are options worth of checking out for you as well although of course with all the computer printed stickers that's kind of meaningless at some point but either way I still like to keep my pens waterproof so I really like those and just like that this plan with me has come to an end this is my finished spread I love it and I hope you like it too please don't forget to give your thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't until next time guys thank you so much for watching and take care bye